Ahunaviti Gathya, Yasna 32. Aya Chavayatas, Yasadahya, Perezanamat, Eryana, Ahyadaeva, Mahni Manoe, Ahurahya, Urva Zemma Mazdaeth Wawe Dutaenho Aenhana Tengdareyo Yoeva Erebeshenti The Kinsman Lord the worker and the priestly peer shall, O oh fire being, pray for the joys of Lord mindful according to my conceptions. May we be thy messengers to repel those who hostily deceive you. And remember in my one tarot series we have Mercury in Aquarius the four, and then upon the vernal equinox Mercury in Aquarius as you know so ten of cups two of cups because we are the messengers of the messengers or at least we should be right verse two I'm your Mazda Yahuro Saranova Humananha Kshatrat Chapitimrat Ashahus Hakha Venvatas Bantam Vearmatin Vanuhim Vermadi Haneanhat. Then replied Lord Mindful, who is in communion with good disposition, by power with the gloriously sunny, well-befriending justice, we have accepted this, your holy good submissive confession. She shall be ours. Oh, confession of love. She shall be ours. And part two of this, in this is entitled Zarathustra's, Zarathustra Vitu parades his rival Grehma to the Devas. And that would be verse, starts with verse three. At you stava vispanho akatmananho stachithran yascha vaemas yazaete drujascha perimato ischa shauman Apidaim betana yaes asrudum bunyae haptaethe. Let me make sure that that is the end of the verse. Yep. But you, O fire beings, are all as a seed from the bad mind. And Whatever moral man will dare reverence you, he shall be considered as belonging to the wicked, for he is proud. For you have become notorious, even to the seventh of the earth, as being long since preceded by your deeds. Verse 4. Yad you stai matha yamashya achishta danto vakshen pedaevo zushtavan heus 
Zeis dhyana manan ho mazdaya ho rahya krathels nasyanto asya cha. Sense of his due to you that the worst behaving man are called dear to the fire beings and are excluded from good dispositions perishing away from justice and from the understanding of mindful lord so davo zushta versus ahuro zushta verse 5 Ta de benauta machin hujia toes ameretatas cha yat vaya kamananha yang diving akas charming use akasya utanem vachanhaya fratchenas dragvantem kshayo therefore you will defraud man of goodly life and immortality because with evil mind and mad speech of the evil mentality advises the deeds with which he causes you who are fire beings and the wicked to perish verse 6 Sravayati Yazi Thais Athahata Marane Ahura Vahishta Bowista Mananha Thwani Vemazdaksha Prove Ashaicha Sengavidam has so far succeeded in perpetuating the many violences through which he has become notorious. So see, the reacting against these people is not because they believe something different. Whether he sh shall, thou alone knowest through thy good disposition, O Lord. But of this I'm sure, in the power, O, most, o, o mindful, your doctrinal decision shall be given for justice. Verse 7. Let me make sure that it ends with these three lines. Yep. Aechamayananham naechit vidvaya Ya joya sanghaete ya isravi vaina yanha ya shantu ahura mazda vaendesh tohi. The expert knower is not committed to any of these deeds of violence whose end thou, O Lord mindful, best knowest. Through a desire for gain, such led him to become notorious through his glittering sword of violence. I had an interesting dream once, where in the dream it was like I was killing 973 spiritual masters, but false masters. It was interesting. Maybe I shouldn't share that without context, but... Verse 8. Aya shamma nanham 
Vivan hu sho stravi yin mas cheat yamas yang che shun hu sho ma keng ya gaus baga varem no aesham cheat ah me thwa me mazda. Mazdavich Vich As is known among these of violence, a certain Yima of Viva Vant, who, in order to satisfy our men, gave pieces of beef to be devoured. I expected to be from these, in thy discriminating judgment, O mindful. Don't remember the last, it's been years since I've had any beef. Verse 9. Du sastes srava emorendat avodjateus senghanais Kratum apomaishtima peyanta berectam haetim van heus mananhu auchta manyeus mahya mazda shaicha yushmaidia. The prophet of evil, Grahma, with his pronunciation, with his pronouncements, would destroy the words which form an understanding of life. My hindering my wealth, the prized possession of good, dispos of good disposition, with these uttered expressions, I appeal to thee, mind truth. I, I appeal to thee, O mindful, through justice. Verse 10. Of O mana srava emorendat yachishtem vananhe angeragamashimbya varechayascha da thang. Trengva todadat yaschava strava vapat yaschava dare voizdat ashaun. Who destroys my words and who preaches that the cattle and the sun are the worst object to behold and who makes wicked doers out of clever? Ones, and who destroys the cultivated lot, lands and raises the weapon against the just doers. Verse 11. Ta cheat ma morenden jotum yo eregvato ma zimbis cheek Anu his chan vas cha peyati rak en anho vaedem yoeva his tat asha no mazda rarash yan mananho. The followers would destroy my life. They've had many consultations with the wicked doers, so as to deprive the masters and the mistresses of possession of their inheritance, and to cause the righteous to apostatize from the best mind, O mindful. Verse 12. Yara sravanha vahishtat chauthanat Maratanu 
Abhyo Mazdaya Kamrat Yo Egeus Morenten Urvak Ukte Yaes Keremashat Varata Karapa Kshatrencha E Ishanam Drujem and by their speeches to cause men to apostatize from their best deeds, mindful spoke, batter ye who destroy the life of cattle with cries of joy, and who to justice prefer Grahma Karpa and the power favorable to the wicked. And verse 13. Yakshathra Geremo He Shasat Acheshtahya Damane Mananu Anheus Maraktaro Ahya Yacha Mazda Jingerezat Kamethwahya Mathrano dutin yais padaresat ashahya. Through which power of the above, justice, grethma, will be degraded to hell, the dwelling of the worst mind, the destroyers of this life, and then. O oh, mindful, he will complain, being moved by a desire for the message of thy prophet, who will keep him from beholding justice. Well, he's receiving justice if he deserved to go to hell, but um, let's, how else do you term this? But, you know, the good things. Um, 32.14. Ah, ya geremua, ho with o ene, caveas cheat, cratus, nida dat, Yad Vicenta Dragvantemadu Yad Chagans Jadia Mraue Yedurashem Sach Ayat Abu Grahma plans the subjugation of this, long since he supports both the cave, the caveyas and the powerful through his plans, which raises help unto the wicked and the cow to be killed, and he will burn who repels death from there of to help her. And the last two verses are given a section three, according to Kenneth Sullivan Guthrie. So, 15. Oh, oh, the section 3. Zarathustra will exult in executing this final judgment. Verse 15. Anais avi nenasaya karapotais cha kevitais cha avais I be young, no it jateros, shyung, vaso to eabia, veria inte, van heus, but through these righteous ones, 
I will expel both the Karapans and the Kaveites, who will not permit the righteous to rule their lives as they wish, which, I pray, will be born of good disposition by the twins, Harvatat and Emeritat is implied. And the final verse is verse 16. Amem tat vahish tachit yeushuruye shyas chit dahmahyakshayas mazdahura yayama aethis chit dvaetha yada enanhe dregvato e anu. Is young and he, uh, all in this is from that best who is teaching in the wide light of the stars or altar flame. Thou, mindful Lord, controllest whomsoever threatens me with destruction, so that I may encourage the beloved by setting limits to the violence of the wicked by my mouth. You never know what reminder will have what effect. Yes, now 33, you know, the outline of the Gathas. High priestly prayer for acceptance, conversion, and paradise. And broken into part one, prayer for acceptance. Four through the might of his prayer, five, and through his praise of obedience when he reaches paradise, six, and by divine teaching initiated into the mysteries of agriculture, seven, Zarathustra hopes to attain a more extensive hearing, part two, prayer for general conversion, eight, nine, he prays that universal conversion may already improve the contemporaneous conditions, 10, and matters of comfort and bodily well-being, 3, prayer for, prayer for paradise. But for the other world beyond also, may the entities grant mercy to him and his with a grant of eternal reward. Remember, you can think of this as divinity in the plural of quality, not necessarily quantity, but it's you know, certain formulas are according to one's beliefs and intentions. Twelve, to him and his with grant of eternal reward. Thirteen, he hopes yet to convert many a person. That was thirteen. Uh, Fourteen, he promises to do all in his power to show himself worthy of the favor of divinity. Yasna, thirty-four, congregational prayer for protection and instruction. One, con congregational prayer protection and instruction. Uh, I mean, part one, so verse one. In view of the equivalent interchange of work, word, and prayer for divine rewards, the believer will earn as many as possible. Hence, two, may, the, may divinity grant that no merit be lost. Three, as dutiful observers of all that is right, we hope for eternal reward. Four, and to pass through the fire ordeal comforted, not injured. Five, have you the power to preserve the poor who trust in you and have renounced all relations with the Davas? 6. If so, show your power by improvement of conditions not only beyond, but even here. 7. Defend us from those who spread false teachings. 8a. And are dangerous because richer than Zarathustra. Now, it's not who's rich or who's poor. It's who does the best with what they have. 8b and 9. But even on that account, they shall lose the rewards of paradise. 1011. Which are for those who hold the true teaching and oppose the enemy. 12a. Inform me of what thou requirest, that we may give it. 12b and 13. Teach us the path of Vohomanu on which the helpers will go to paradise. 
In part two, Zarathustra closes with a prayer for congregation and humanity. 14. Let the congregation assure themselves of reward by good care of the cattle. 15. And by fulfilling the divine commands to attain perfection, efficiency, and utility. Yasna 43. The Interior Call of Zarathustra. Prayer for Fulfillment of Human Aspirations. Verse 1 and 2. Prayer for the fulfillment of the wishes of all who are present. 3 4. Zarathustra prays for, prays for the fulfillment of his own wishes, especially for knowledge of Ahura Mazda's power and greatness. Part 2. Remnants. Reminiscences of Six Visions. 5 6. First. Ahura Mazda at the very beginning plans, rewards, and punishments. 7 8. Second. Zarathustra takes sides with the Ashaist and determines never to cease seeking instruction. 9 10. Third. Visible revelation of Asha is granted. 11 12. Fourth. Divinity promises to support him in the prophetic office which he has undertaken. 13 14. Fifth. Prayer to Bohomanu for ultimate paradise. Well, communication with Vohomana for ultimate paradise and immediate victory over his opponents. 1516, 6th. Aramati promises the latter if Zarathustra will break off all intercourse with the unbelievers, you know, all communication. He makes confession of faith and looks forward to the establishment of the kingdom. Yasna 44. Oracular consultation as to and visibility of conversion through war. Part 1. Questions about theology. Verse 1. What is the proper method of prayer to divinity so as to induce them to help him to attain Vohomanu? 2. Will the rewards begin in the second life? Zarathustra is watcher and savior. Not savior in the Christian sense. 3. Who is the first creator and energizer of nature? 4. Who is the preserver and creator of Ohomanu? 5. Who created light, waking and morning? 6. Is his own message genuine? For whom was the cattle created? 7. Whose wisdom made sons reverence? Parents. Ahura Mas is creator. 8. Zarathustra would know the words of life to attain ultimate rewards. 9. Will Zarathustra be able to perfect his individuality? 10. Will his religion of practice and reverence find acceptance? 11. Will his religion spread to the um, people of uh, miscellaneous religions? He has a right to expect this, for divinity chose him, and he is an enemy to all other prophets. Well, the, the false prophets, the prophets of other than Ahura Mazda, right? So those two quali categories. Two, part two questions about propaganda by war. Twelve, must not the other prophet who opposes Arthustra be an enemy to God? Thirteen, will it be possible to drive the dissidents from home into the camp of the avowed opponents? Fourteen, Zarathustra would hand over these druge to Asha, torment and punishment. 15. In this religious war, which side shall gain the victory? Well, if it is a truly religious war, isn't those on the side of actual religion, aren't they always victorious? Whether they win in battle or whether they're killed, they've got victory. 16. Prayer that a division reduce Prayer that a vision reduce the people to obedience to himself. 17. Will he succeed in establishing salvation for himself and his? 18. Will he, while yet in this life, receive his reward? 19. Zarathustra takes it for granted that whoever, fall, whoever fails to pay him due reverence will have to suffer for it at the end of life. Why not now also? Part 3. 
Loyalty to Zarathustra is profitable. The management of the dr uh, twenty. Uh, the management of the Druge has always resulted in hard times. Why side with them? And I guess I'll stop there. Shnathra hora hetmasta ashamboho kamnamasta ashamboho.